A system is an organized group of related components that form a whole. So the whole system here is made up of a whole series of different components that are interrelated and they all have to work together to form the whole system. So these components all work together and they're all interrelated and they relate, um, rely on each other and they all work together to form the whole. Now a great example of a system is a bicycle. So within a bicycle we have a whole series of subsystems. We have a steering system, we have uh, a wheel system, we have a gear system that propels the bike forward. We have a braking system that slows the bike down. All of these things work together as the system of the bicycle. Now, various specializations of these systems can make a bike that's got a specific purpose. So if you imagine, for example, a mountain bike, a mountain bike has much thicker, larger wheels. But by making that change, it actually makes changes to other parts of the system. For example, those heavier, thicker wheels, whilst they're great on a mountain bike for being able to go off-road, they actually make it harder for the gear system to work to propel the bike forward. So these systems tend to interrelate to each other. So, so specialization of one part of the system may have an impact on another part of a system. But specialization of a system can allow this bicycle to do different things. So like for example a commuter bike is quite different to a racing bike and is different to a mountain bike. Now a bicycle can fit into a larger system as well, a transportation system, a mail delivery system, a, a, a food delivery system, uh, an exercise and a recreation system. So systems thinking is about understanding how different components of a system work together. And importantly, by making a change to one part of a system, it can actually have an impact on other parts of the system quite removed from where the change was made. And, and so it's important for us in, in systems thinking to be aware of how different parts, different components of a system interact so that we don't um, produce unexpected and unwanted changes elsewhere in the system. We also need to be aware of the fact that we might need to make a change uh, remotely to where we actually want to see an improvement in the system. So we make a change over here to see an improvement over here. So we need to understand how the different components work together. In ecology, for example, part of biology, the study of ecosystems. An ecosystem, of course, is a system and all of the different organisms are interdependent on each other. So if as humans we make a change to the system that has an influence on say one particular type of organism, well that's actually going to affect all of the organisms that uh, rely on uh, or interact with and are influenced by that particular type of organism. So again, in ecology it's very important for us to understand the interrelatedness of a system. Another example would be in digital technologies because uh, a computer system is an interaction of a whole series of different parts of a computer and making a change in one part of the computer can actually have an impact on the performance of the computer elsewhere. So again we need to understand how uh, systems interact and that's what systems thinking is.